Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy, and we're nearing the end of August, and that means it's time to round up the best new Android apps that were released over the course of the last month. If you want to check out any of these apps for yourself, you can find those links in the video description below. Adapticons is essentially the application version of Android O's adaptable icons. You can take virtually any icon on your device and alter it to fit your theme. It even has support for third-party icon packs, with the only caveat being that you need a launcher that supports custom icons. Otherwise, this is a pretty decent little theming tool, and you'll get most of the features in the free version. The paid version unlocks the rest of the features. Amazing Weather HD is a new live wallpaper and it shows the current weather on your home screen. The application allows you to view weather in multiple locations as well. You can also lightly customize the wallpaper and it should change whenever the weather changes and also when it turns from day to night and back again. You have to pay up front to use the application, thus we recommend you give it a proper test before the refund time expires. Bola is a new budget manager app. It's also rather simple. You track your paychecks, expenses, and your budget. You already know and understand the goal of budget apps, so I'll keep that part short. It also supports multiple currencies, cloud syncing, and you can keep track of multiple budgets at once. You won't find a bunch of bells and whistles with this one. It handles the basics well enough, though. Those who need more hardcore expense reports for things like taxes probably won't need to use this one. You do get some features with the free version, and the full version runs for $3.49. Deampify helps you deal with Google's AMP pages. Some people don't like them, and this app is for those people. It allows you to bypass AMP links in other apps like Twitter, Facebook, Hangouts, or even Google Assistant. The only place it doesn't work is Google Chrome, and there isn't a workaround for that. It does its job fairly well. The free version gives you the basic functionality, while the paid version lets you whitelist sites, allows for additional customization, removes ads, and also has tasker add-ons. Hurry is a new Android widget that creates countdown timers. You can use it for things like birthdays, special events, or even your favorite TV shows. It also includes recurring countdowns, notification settings, and a lot more. The widgets are generally tasteful, and they shouldn't clash too hard with any given theme. You can also add images for a bit of extra flair. The app is currently free to download and use. Autopo is a photo editor application that's still in beta. It focuses a lot on things such as stickers, frames, filters, and the like. You won't find many hardcore photo editing features with this one. On the plus side, it does feature a whole ton of filters, stickers, and of course frames. You'll be able to crop and rotate images, add elements, and then move those elements around. It is a beta app and that means there will be bugs, but it is free with no in-app purchases. PlexChat is a new chat application for gamers. It competes with the likes of Discord, Skype, and other types of gamer chats. You create a hub for your gamer group or guild, or whatever game you happen to be playing. It features 10 levels of permissions, various chats within the group, and a lot more. It should scale well depending on the size of your group or your game. It is still a little slow and rough around the edges. You might not want to try it out just yet. However, do keep it on your radar because it could be really good someday. Samsung doesn't typically release applications for non-Samsung devices. Samsung Internet Browser happens to be one of those few rarities. This is a fairly lightweight browser. It features extensions, material design, swiping tabs, a night mode, and a lot more. The extensions include ad blockers. Many of them aren't compatible with most phones just yet. However, one or two should be available for most people. It's in beta, and that means it's buggy and a little bit slow. It has a lot of potential, though. Style Music is a new radio app, and it's also a regular music app. Yes, it does both. The music player part of it is basic, but effective. You can listen to your library, get metadata downloads from Last.fm, and a lot more. There is also a folder view for those who like that. The radio part contains over 50,000 stations for you to listen to. Frankly, this is one of the better radio music players that can do both of these things. It is just a little bit buggy, though. WallR is a new wallpaper app. It has a massive collection of over 100,000 HD wallpapers. It can also auto-set your wallpaper, turn wallpapers into low-poly crystallized images, and a lot more. The free version of the application doesn't have hardly any features. You'll have to pay the price of admission in order to really play with this one. Additionally, those who love crispy, super high-resolution images may be a bit disappointed with the 1080p stuff here. It is free to download, though, and there are tons of options. And that about does it for this one, folks. Don't forget to subscribe to Android Authority and ring the bell to get the latest Android Authority videos as soon as they come out. Once again, all of these links are in the video description below if you want to check out any of these apps for yourself. As always, thanks for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day.